The House Republicans just voted to wreck their own majority and open the way to single-payer health care. For liberals, the Affordable Care Act was always a flawed compromise based on Republican ideas. To pass Obamacare, Democrats surrendered the so-called public option and abandoned hopes of lowering the Medicare age to 50. They thought they were choosing a middle way that could unite the country. Instead, they radicalized their Republican opponents, who now reject the very idea that the healthy have an obligation to pay for the sick. The trouble for Republicans is that the principle of universal coverage has now been accepted by a majority of Americans. A recent Pew survey found that 60% of Americans and 52% of Republicans earning less than $30,000 now believe that the federal government has a responsibility to ensure health coverage for all Americans. The previous version of Obamacare repeal won support from fewer than 20%. This month's version will surely do worse as soon as Americans learn what's in it. As this bill moves to the Senate, Republicans will discover they have not succeeded in repealing Obamacare, but only in wrecking their own majority. Trump wants a win now. He's not thinking ahead. Not about the lives of sick and financially hard-pressed Americans. Not about his own party's prospects in the midterm elections of 2018. And amazingly, not even what will happen to him should Democrats return to power.